Hey boys and girls, today we are going to be making this beautiful sunflower painting. So to get started, you're gonna get a sheet of white construction paper and you're gonna hold it portrait style so it's longer up and down than it is side to side. And we're actually gonna be using two different paintbrushes for this. So for the first part, you're gonna pick a paintbrush that's wider and we're gonna start by painting the background. We're gonna be using these tempera cakes. So we need some blue and some green for the sky and the grass. And you wanna make sure that you wet your brush first and then pick up the color. So I'm gonna start with the blue and what I'm gonna do is add on my color from one end of the paper all the way to the other. Okay, so I'm going side to side and I'm going from one off of one side and then off of the other side to make sure that I'm, I'm covering all the edges with that blue paint. And what I wanna do is go to about three quarters of the way down the paper with this blue. So I'm gonna add it into about here and I'm gonna fill up this whole space with blue, making sure I'm covering the edges and I'm doing nice long strokes side to side with the paint. Once you have uh, the top part done, so three quarters away down blue, you're gonna get your green paint. So again, I'm gonna add water, swirl it around, and I'm gonna do the exact same thing, but this time where they meet, I wanna kinda cover up a little bit of the blue with the green here. So it's gonna turn like a teal color, just to help it blend to make sure that I don't have any white space on my paper. Um, and then I'm gonna paint all the way off the bottom of the paper with the green. So I'm gonna finish painting my entire paper so I have absolutely no white space left. Once your background is done, you're gonna pick up either some yellow or brown paint on the back of your um, paintbrush, and you're just gonna place three or four dots where you're gonna place your sunflowers. So you wanna think, obviously they're gonna be much bigger, that's just the center point, but this way you can kinda place them so you know, okay, this is where I need to paint my stems. Next, I'm gonna get my thinner paintbrush, and I'm gonna start by painting the stems. So I'm gonna get some green paint, and what you wanna do is paint a line that starts a little bit below each dot and goes somewhere into the green, okay? So it can be a wavy line, it can be a straight line, it can be a curved line, however you wanna do it, it does not matter. Once you're done with your lines, you're gonna go back and add some leaves. So I only want you to add about one or two. So I'm just gonna do one on each side. Maybe I'll just do one there. Just like that. And now we're ready to paint our petals. We are going to be layering petals. So we're gonna start with yellow and we're also gonna end with yellow, but we're gonna add some colors in between. So what I'm gonna do is add some paint to my brush and starting a little bit away from that white dot, I'm gonna press down and then gently lift up as I go out. And so basically like you're thinking, like you're making a firework, that's what you're trying to make it look like right now. Okay, so I'm always starting from the center and then pushing out. So I'm gonna do this around each one of my dots. Once you have yellow down, you're gonna pick up some orange. So I'm not cleaning my paintbrush, I'm just gonna dip it right in the orange and I'm gonna do the same thing, but this time I'm gonna go in between all the yellow lines I did. And if you go over top of some of yours, that's fine. It's not, it's not gonna matter. Um, we're, it's gonna be blending together anyway as we add more and more layers of paint. So I'm, st I'm doing the exact same thing. It's very important you start from the center and push the paint out towards the edges. Now I'm gonna pick up my third color, so some red, and I'm gonna add this in on two of my flowers. And now at this point, I'm basically going over top of any color, yellow or orange. I'm just adding in some red randomly, but I'm still making sure that I'm going around in a circle. So I'm gonna do these top two here. All right, so now we have our three colors, but like I said, we are going to be starting with yellow and ending with yellow. I'm still not cleaning my brush because I want some of the colors to mix together. And I'm gonna do a final layer of yellow on each one of my flowers. Now, depending on which flower you want to look like is in front of the rest of the flowers. So this one, this bottom one here, I want it to look like it's sitting in front of it. I'm gonna do that flower last. And what's gonna happen with that is the 
paint when I add in the petals is going to go over top of some of these other petals and it'll look like it's sitting in front. So you're gonna add yellow again to each one of these going round and round, exact same way you've been adding the paint before. Okay, so now we're ready to add in the centers. You're gonna keep your brush still loaded up with tons of paint. You're gonna dip it in some of the brown and now you're gonna dab it in the middle here. So you're just gonna go in a circular motion, but I'm not pressing down and swirling, I'm dabbing. So go ahead and do that on each one of your flowers. And finally, we are going to add in our fence. So you're gonna get one long strip of white paper and you're gonna put a very thin line of glue, okay? If you're not good at making thin lines, then I want you to put little teeny tiny dots. And you're gonna flip it over and put it in front of the bottom here. You wanna make sure that it lines up on both sides so you don't have um, some of the paper sticking off of one side. And you're just gonna gently press down, okay? And then once you're done with that, now you'll add in your smaller lines. So same thing, just a tiny little layer of glue or little dots, and you're gonna place them about in the middle of that line there. And you're gonna add all six of these straight across. And that's it. I hope you guys have fun with this. Can't wait to see them.